hello everyone welcome back to febrov in this video i will be sharing few simple tricks that will be lowering your ping increase the fps and fix many kind of lagging problem while doing valorant gaming on your windows 10 and windows 11 so let's quickly get started now before starting i would recommend you that kindly go ahead and create a restore point so it's very simple click on your windows search type restore from the suggestion click create a restore point the new box will be up now here at the bottom you'll find the create option click on it now give a name like valorant optimization so that you can easily identify and then you have to click on create now it will take few seconds and the restore point will be successfully created so once you are done click on close click on ok then click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key and here you will find all kind of your internet connection adapter now it's really recommended that you should start using the ethernet connection instead of the wi-fi only switching to ethernet will make a huge difference you will find the ping has been reduced the latency has been reduced and it will make a huge difference so if you're using the ethernet then you will have to make a right click on it click on properties then click on configure this will bring up another box now here from the top menu option click on power management uncheck this option that says allow the computer to turn off then from the top menu option only click on advanced and here you have to look for the speed and duplex click on it then on the right hand side you will find few entries so here depending on your internet connection if you are getting the internet speed of around 80 50 mbps then you will have to select 100 mbps full duplex but if you're getting the internet speed more than 100 mbps then go with 1 gbps full duplex once you are done you can click on ok now if you're using the wi-fi connection make a right click on it click on properties again click configure click power management uncheck this allow the computer turn off then click on advanced now here you'll find on the very top a to 211 abg wireless mode Select it, then from the value section, select to 5 GHz, 802.11a. Then select the second value. And then on the right hand side, make sure that it's been selected to 802.11ax. Then scroll down and you will find the roaming aggressiveness. Click on it. And from the value section, choose it to lowest. Then click on OK. Now you also need to change the DNS address. So I'm using the Ethernet connection, so I will go and change the DNS address for this Ethernet connection. But if you're using the Wi-Fi, you have to do the same with the Wi-Fi. So right click on it, click on properties, click on Internet Protocol version 4, double click on it. And here you have to select the second option, use the following DNS server address. In the preferred alternate, either you can use the Google or the Cloudflare. But in order to find that which will be the best for you, click on your Windows search type cmd click command prompt and here you have to type ping and first we will start with the cloudflare so the cloudflare ip will be 1.1.1.1 hit the enter key and then it will let you know that what kind of minimum maximum average ping you are getting from the cloudflare so it's 14 14 and 14 so we will also check for the google so type ping space and for the google it will be 8.8.8 .8 .8. 8 hit the enter key and here we can see the minimum maximum and the average is above 15 so it's better to go with the cloudflare because we're getting the less so this can be different on your end i'm getting this kind of ping but on your end it can be less or more so whichever is the less one minimum one you have to change that one so i will go with the cloudflare so that will be one 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 and one and in the alternate you have to type 1001 this preferred and alternate for the cloudflare and the google you will find in the description you can copy and paste here then you have to click on ok click on ok and now you can close it now next we also need to disable the windows notification on windows 11 so right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left hand menu option click on privacy and security and here you'll find the windows permission so click on general disable all these then go back do the same for the speech disable it 
disable inking and typing personalization, diagnostic feedback, activity history, search permission. Then you have the app permission. And here, whichever you don't use, like location, camera, or microphone, if you don't use it, kindly go ahead and disable it. Then you have to scroll down. You will find the email, task, messaging, radios. Now, most of the people, they do not use it. And it's really recommended that you should disable this all, radio control access and all these notifications that showing up over here. Once you are done, you can close it. Now, next, we also need to add the Valorant game to the firewall exception so that none of the files should be blocked from the Windows firewall. So for that, click on your Windows search, type allow. And in the suggestion, you will be getting allow an app through Windows firewall. Click on it. And here you have to add the Valorant game to the exception. So in order to add, you have to click on change setting. Click on allow another app. Now here you have to browse to the location of Valorant. So in order to get the path, click on your Windows search. Type Valorant. Right click on Valorant. Choose open file location. Again, right click on Valorant. Choose open file location. Now this will take you to the exact location. And you have to copy this path. So click on the top address box. Right click on it and choose copy. Then come back to the firewall page. Click on browse. Paste the path at the top. Hit the enter key. Select Riot Client Services. Click on open. Click on add. Now this is already added on my end. So it's saying that it's already added. Once it will be added, you will find somewhere the right client. And you have to make sure that this private and the public option have been checked. And now you also need to add the Valorant path. So again, click on your Windows search, type Valorant. Right click on the Valorant, choose open file location. Again, right click on Valorant, choose open file location. Now here from the top address box, you will find right game, click on it. And here you will find the Valorant folder double click on it then double click on live then on shooter game then on binaries win64 here is scroll down and you will find valorant win64 shipping dot exe so select it then copy the path from the top again go back click allow another app click on browse paste the path at the top hit the enter key select valorant Click on open, click on add. Once it's been added, make sure the public and the private options are being checked. Then you have to click on OK. Now you also need to do the same with the graphic setting. You have to add the Valorant game to the high graphic performance. So again, click on Windows search, type graphic, click on graphic settings, then click on browse. Again, here you have to go to the Valorant path. So again, click on Windows search type valorant right click on it open file location again right click on valorant open file location now here from the top click on write games then look for the valorant folder double click on it double click on live shooter game binaries win64 scroll down you will find the valorant win64 shipping.exe select it copy the path from the top then go back, again click on browse, paste the path at the top, hit the enter key, select Valorant, click on add. Now here you will find the Valorant has been added. Once added, click on options, choose high performance and then click on save. So once it's been done, you can close it. Now next you also need to disable a few services. So click on Windows search, type services, hit the enter key. Now here first service that you have to disable is the sysmain. So scroll down until you find the sysmain in the S section. Once you get it, double click on it. In the startup type, click on the drop down and choose disabled. If the status is running, then you have to stop it. Click on apply, click on OK. Do the same with the Windows update. So look for Windows update. Once you get it, double click on it. The startup type, select to disabled and make sure it's been stopped then click on apply click on ok then you can close it and now finally we will also use the tcp optimizer so you will be getting this link in the description to this page here you will find tcp optimizer 4 in the download section click on it the downloading will be started 
once it get downloaded click on it and then click on ok and now here in the general setting only in the connection speed just increase the slider and make it to 100 mbps so that will be in the full and then from the top menu option click on advanced setting then click on custom at the right hand corner now here we have to make some changes so in the max connection server you have to type here 10 and the max connection per server also it will be 10 the local priority will be 4 the host priority will be 5 the dns priority will be 6 and the net pd priority will be 7 then in the retransmission the maximum sync retransmission will be 2 and the non stack rate resiliency will be disabled the initial rto change it to 2000 and the minimum rto will be 300 now on the right hand side the network throttling index will be disabled keep it as it is tcp acp frequency change it to disabled one tcp no delay will be enabled one tcp dl ack takes will be disabled zero and tcp timed wait delay here you have to change it to 32 and that's it click on apply changes click on ok and there will be a difference in the ping the lagging issues will be fixed that's all guys for today and hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye